In this lesson, we'll create our tension cable in the adaptive modeling environment. All right, so the clip is done. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, jump into the adaptive modeling environment where we can quickly create some adaptive models. And in this case, you know, it's going to be our tension cable. So I'm going to go back to my applications menu here. We'll go new family. And this time we're going to go to generic model adaptive. Go ahead and click on that. Click open. And this process is pretty easy. So first thing, it's mainly just setting your work plane, dropping in some points, creating a shape, and creating a form. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my work plane. So I'm going to say set. I'm just going to go off this middle line. So now we're going to place a couple of points. So select this point and go ahead and place pretty much anywhere on this area here. They'll all lie in the same plane. So I have those two points in place, right? So now I can select them. And I'm going to click on Make Adaptive. What that's going to allow me to do is create a form that kind of follows whatever's going along with this. And uh, it's going to, that form will actually follow whatever squiggly lines or paths we throw at it. In our case, these endpoints are going to be our connection po points or points of contact to our clips. So there's really not much flexibility other than the start and an end for our tension cable. So now that these are selected and we did click Make Adaptive, go ahead and click on your spline. We're going to do a spline through points. And now what I want you to do is I want you to select that spline. And I want you to come down here. And I want you to select Is Reference Line. And that's located here in your Properties window. That's going to allow us to have a little bit more flexibility as far as how we're going to you know, control this thing. So now, go ahead and grab another point. So we're going to grab a point. And I want to set that point on my spline, right? So now what we're going to do basically is take this point, go to set, we're going to make that point our work plane. And now we're going to place a simple uh, circle here, and we're going to create a form. And just as long as it's placed on a center, we'll be in good shape. So go to center. We want to have a radius that's going to be a little bit smaller than what we were working with um, in our project. So let's control tab really quick. I want to get the distance uh, from basically from here or whatever our radius is. Let's see. In our case here, uh, so it's going to be a two inch diameter. So let's escape out of here. So I definitely want my rope to be smaller than that. So I'm going to control tab back to my adaptive environment here. And we've got a lot of project files open. I'm going to clean those out a little bit later. So again, we'll come back here. Um, we'll go to circle place here. So I want to give it a radius, oh, we'll give it a radius of, uh, we'll say half an inch, 0.5 inches. Let's see what that does for us. All right, so that should give us a rope that's got a diameter of about, you know, an inch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to select everything. I'm going to say create form. What that did was it created a nice little cable here, so now I can... Basically grab this, and when I, when I move this up, your model should automatically flex. So this stayed put while I only moved this one. So that's how you know you're in good shape when you can start moving your model around like that. So let's go on ahead and save that. So go to Save, and make sure you're saving this as. We'll do a Save, oh, Save As, Family, and I'm going to call this one our Tension Cable. Say save, and we are in good shape. So now I can load this into our project environment. So let's bring this into our project. So I'm going to say load into project. And what I want to do is I want to bring this into our actual project. So it will probably be this 08 beacon. I'll actually hold off on bringing it into the project. We'll actually do that in the next lesson. That way we don't get our project files a little mixed up or anything. So what we're going to do is we'll meet up in the next lesson where we'll uh, go ahead and bring this into the project. We'll place our clips and then we'll attach each one of these endpoints to the clips. So I'll meet you in the next lesson.